All right, today we're gonna do a lightning storm over a field. All right, the question of the day is, where does Thor descend from? All right, let's run through the colors. Quinn red, pearly red, primary yellow, red oxide, yellow ochre, phthalo green, quinn blue, phthalo blue, titanium white, Mars black. All right, today we're gonna do a painting of lightning. For this uh, painting, we kind of roughed in the sky really rough. Um, we got kind of the initial outlay of where the lightning is going to come in. We have this dark brown. It has to be even darker than this because we're going to do um, the highlights of the city, but we want to get a really nice coating here. So a little bit darker. We got kind of the uh, sunset breaking through here. So we want to uh, clarify that. And we might need two layers for this. We'll see how it goes. So the question of Thor isn't doesn't come from Marvel Comics, it comes way back, dating back to kind of Germanic languages people, and also Norway, Sweden, Scandinavia, Northern German, and also all the way up to Iceland. So that kind of region kind of had the belief in Thor, the god of lightning, and many other countries had the belief in a god related to lightning. Now Thor, you know, the mythology there was they would kind of use it on the viking strips pray to the god of thor and then hopefully they didn't get struck by lightning while they're crossing and crusading so in the reality of the history of thor they are actually you know quite much more brutal than what you would say it is in the comic book where it's kind of their noble race and all this and so during the norse god of thor it's much more cruel god he strikes out deliberately with lightning and thunder and you know much more darker tale than what is in the Marvel comics, so to say. And there's many different tales and versions of Thor within this mythology because it's over multiple language groups from Germany, Scandinavia, and Iceland, that whole region. And so that's the question of the day. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So we have this really nice lightning streak from the dark. Um, I added kind of red into the highlights to kind of contrast the blue clouds, gray, blue, and kind of a red cloud so you get more variation of cloud that's really in the photo in the photo it's really starkly dark um, you have this bold bold lightning that comes across the light so it's this really huge lightning um, originally there was kind of a cityscape and i kind of originally added that with the line with the highway um that's not focusing let me focus out but anyway that didn't make sense to me um i don't think it was as accurate uh the line was fine but then the other kind of yellow dots they didn't really fit in and pull, and they kind of detracted a little bit from the lightning per se. I mean, it is cool to have a lightning strike over a city, obviously, 
but I think if it's just over an open plain, which that would be there if there was no city, which I, so I just wiped out the city, added a bit of a little variation. Um, some of that yellow kind of blended into a nice brown, which is cool because you get kind of that nice foreground and then to the background. Um, I might have kind of screwed up the horizon with this really light tan horizon, which probably isn't there, but it kind of creates a really nice back um, drop as far as the break between that horizon, which is that little red poking through and as well as, you know, just that nice tan to contrast the red to uh, the purples in there and the blues to that tan. So it has a nice contrast and it transition nicely to the bottom layer, which is that nice tan color. Um, not real, not totally realistic for a field, but you know, I'm just kind of guessing what those colors would be. I think they're really nice warm colors. And again, the paintings are really dark painting at night. So it's, you gotta kind of add some light in there. It's gonna be a too dark of a painting. I think so it would look really good in a really light room that someone likes lightning. So we'll see if it sells. <laughs> I think it looks cool to me, but a lot of people don't like dark painting. So we'll see, it might be too dark. Uh, anyway, hopefully you guys like it and don't think it's too dark. Uh, if you wanna subscribe, you can subscribe below. And if you wanna um, see the full version, check my Patreon account. Thanks for watching, guys.